A spiritual woman is the greatest threat to the status quo. The fruit she will bear, the power she has access to. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day while pregnant. Um, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you know I've done this with my past pregnancies. And if you've watched my recent videos, you know I'm currently pregnant again, five months. So um, these are quick videos that I, um, find that you know people enjoy so I'm gonna share with you all what I eat today and I'm starting off with breakfast so for breakfast I have my tea in this cup and it's actually oh, it's actually um, what is it elderberry nettle dandelion and um, alfalfa, I think, which are all great herbs to drink while pregnant, very nutritious, helps keep your immune system up, all that good stuff. So I'm starting with my tea and then I'm gonna have my fruits. So I have my fruits, pear, apples, um, what are these, grapes, <laughs> raspberries, and blackberries. So I try to get all my fruits seeded, organic, or at least local. And now that I'm back in St. Croix, I could find way more fruits than just papayas, mangoes, and bananas, which is all I ate when I was in Ghana. Well, that's a story for another day, but <laughs> I am happy to be able to get back in my berries and my apples and pears and just all the other local fruits like star fruits and all of that so that's what i'm having for breakfast and um i did cut up my grapes and take the seeds out because my one-year-old is also digging in my bowl yeah i'm gonna have breakfast and then i'll be back to show you all what i'm having for lunch hey gem so i am now preparing my lunch which is gonna be some mushroom kale wraps um my sister made me some wraps before she left and I just sauteed some kale, no, not kale. I sauteed some mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers and I did a kale salad and I'm just gonna put it all together. So, oh wait, I didn't mix this in, but this is my kale salad. It just has olive oil, lime, sea salt, some onion powder, some sumac, and a little bit of tahini. I'm heating up my wraps that she made. These are homemade wraps um, made from spelt flour. And then here is my saute mushrooms with um, onions and red bell pepper. And then she also made this like homemade barbecue sauce. It looks not so appealing but it tastes good so i'm gonna add that to my wrap as well and, and yeah that's about it i'll show you all how it looks when i'm done putting it together it's nothing fancy but it's gonna taste good so that's what i'm having for lunch and then um i'll show you all what i'm having for dinner later which my dinner is pretty much already prepared so yeah you all will see what that is later <laughs> okay, so these are my wraps. Focus. It's not focusing. Oh, there we go. So those are my wraps, and listen, my son is resting right now, so 
I don't even know if he's gonna get any of this. <laughs> I might eat all and then give him something else to eat. We'll see. So this is a gallon of chlorophyll. My father made it for me before he left. And I'm not talking about the powder chlorophyll you buy. This is chlorophyll he makes from scratch, island style, with the guinea grass and tarragon and basil and just all that good stuff. So I'll be drinking this before it goes bad because it does not last long. It'll probably last about maybe two or three days. What I'm going to do is pour out half of it and freeze half so that it lasts me like the entire week. But um, I'll be drinking this today as well. So in between my meals, I'll be drinking this. And um, I don't sweeten it. I make sure he doesn't sweeten it and I don't put any sweetener in it. The most I'll probably do is squeeze a lime in it and that's it. So this is a really good source of iron and you know iron is very, very important during pregnancy. So this is what I'm gonna be drinking. Hey gems, so I didn't get to finish filming yesterday because life happened and I ended up not even eating dinner. All I had was chlorophyll at the end of the day and that was it. And I went to bed. Well, I didn't even get to bed. I didn't sleep. But I'm having what I was supposed to have for dinner last night for lunch today. So I still wanted to show you all what I'm eating. So I'm going to show you all I'm having. I'm in the car, so excuse all of that. But I'm having um, a homemade lasagna and a kale salad. This lasagna is made with chickpea lasagna shells, um, veggie crumbles made from scratch using the spelt flour and turning it into the gluten, seasoning it, baking it, um, grinding it, all of that. And then I use, um, what do you call it, Brazil nut cheese and um, what else, saute kale organic tomatoes and all of that good stuff so yeah so this is what I'm having now for lunch that I was supposed to have for dinner last night but um yeah this lasagna is so good it might not look as appetizing because it was in this container I'm on the road and I have to bring my lunch with me but it tastes so good so 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 good so, um, I'm probably not gonna eat all. I don't know. I might because I didn't eat dinner last night. And I'm very hungry right now. But yeah, that kind of wraps up this video. Um, I'm just getting back into this, so y'all be patient with me. My life is crazy right now as I'm still getting settled, being that I just recently moved back. So my videos might be spotty, it might not be long, whatever. But I still want to share my journey and, um, you know share with you how you can have a healthy pregnancy because that's what it's all about it's about the babies so that's it for this video i hope you all enjoyed if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe and you all will see me in my next one peace i am the keeper of the gate a seer of the way a seeker of the fullness in the future of the clay these hands